Hi guys. Happy Monday. I'd like to share some things with you all about why I joined Sensi and how it's benefiting my family now. <clears throat> the first thing I want to say to you guys is that my sponsor has been a friend of mine for probably about, oh, at the time, maybe over 20 years. <clears throat> She's also my hairstylist. So she, I was in the hair salon one day and she asked me about the Sensi opportunity and I hadn't heard of Sensi. So the first reaction to me, the first, my first response was no, because I heard so much about network marketing and I thought it was a pyramid. I said, no, no, and no, hard no. I didn't even want to take a look at the catalog because I'm like, oh, in my mind, I already knew I didn't want to do it. So it wasn't until I received a product, a warmer, that changed my mind. And this warmer was the same product that she talked about. I'm like, this is what she's been trying to tell me. And I said no without even really getting into it. I didn't even, want to, I didn't even open up the catalog when she gave it to me. So I decided on December the 23rd, this is December, I'll be celebrating since he now for almost 12 years this month, be 12 years this month, 23rd. So I decided to join Cincy two days before Christmas just to be a customer. And boy, did I, I was just so stoked at that time because like I got a website, that's like so cool. So within 30 days, I sold over $3,000 in products and I promoted to director in exactly 90 days. Not that I knew what I was doing. I didn't have a clue about what I was doing. It was just told to me that if you want to make money, if you want to promote to director, you need to get people to join your team. So I started asking people to join. So that's how it all started. So moving on, after I started, like a couple of years later, my son was diagnosed with a brain tumor. That's when I start seeing the blessings pour in. That's why it's so great to have a team because when my son was diagnosed with a brain tumor, I had to fly from Alabama to New Mexico to take care of him. Not one time, not two times, not three times, not four times, but try five times. He had five surgeries and I had to leave Alabama to fly to New Mexico five times. And each time I was out there, I was out there two and three months at a time. So I carried my Sensi business with me. I made no excuses. I could have said, oh, I'm not going to work my Sensi business because my son is sick. He's at the point of death. I could have said that, but no. I rolled my sleeves up and I worked my business because I knew I had to pay the bills. I knew I had expenses. So that's what I did. And Sensi is totally a blessing. It's not a burden. So that's the first blessing. And moving on, I remember reaching out to one of my customers, asking her about the Sensi opportunity. She said, she called me and wanted to buy a product. And I thought, you know what, Dr. Thompson, you should totally join Sensi for the tax breaks. Who, I never thought to ask her before. She had been my customer for like seven or eight years. I never thought to ask her to join because she's a doctor, she's a dentist. I'm thinking she doesn't need the money, but it hit me. She needed a tax write off. And she joined for the tax breaks. And then after she joined, she promoted to direct in like four months and earned her first trip because she wanted to go on that free trip. Yes. So look at how things are changing. So after she joined, I decided at that point that I wanted to become a superstar director. I always wanted to, but I put it this way. I put myself in a position to. I started reaching out to other consultants who were superstar directors. So it's great to reach out to people who are already who have already accomplished what you're trying to accomplish. So I reached out to them to find out what is it that you're doing that I need to do. Number one, I made the commitment. I wrote it down and I put a deadline on it. So once you see that something you want, you got to make the commitment, you put a deadline on it. So I knew then I had to get to work. I rolled my sleeves up and let's get to work. So I made that commitment in 2016, December. I promoted to Superstar Director in November of 2017 because I made those sacrifices. I made the commitment and I knew I was going to do it. Okay, then after that, I... I met another young lady. I'm leading up to something to let you guys know where I'm going with this. And she's made a huge impact on my life. And uh, her name is Teresa. She made a huge impact on my life and showed me some things. So she's real tech savvy. Showed me some things that I didn't have a clue about. Didn't have a clue about. And before I met her, I met Angie. I met Angie off of YouTube. So it's great to reach out there and, and connect with people. And between these awesome leaders, I met so many other ones, so many. I'll leave people out if I start naming them because there are too many of them. Too many people have impacted me in so many ways. So 
Uh, I remember when I met Angie, she added me to her group along with my team because I didn't have a group. I didn't have Teen Traveling Sense group at that time. I didn't even know how to start leading one. So she added me to her group. That's where it all started. And I learned how to lead at that point to have a group. And then when I met Teresa, she started showing me different things of how to do things that I didn't know how to do as it relates to technology to take me to a whole nother level. Then after I met her and I met Hugh, Hugh has a lot of gifts and a lot of talents. And she's offered to, like when I was in the videos with Cincy, I didn't have a clue about how to do this. She came to my house and we stayed at my house all day. And she just directed everything so that my video would flow. Cause I didn't have a clue. I don't know how to do stuff like that. Thank God for Cincy and the connections. And there's so many of you guys who have connected with so many of us to help us. And through all of this, I'm leading up to something. Uh, my daughter, when she graduated from high school, she didn't know what she wanted to do, didn't know what she wanted to be. But I knew that she has, she had more of a potential of the, she had more potential than, uh, for the things that she wanted to do. For example, she wanted to go sing, she wanted to go mall. I said, no ma'am, that's something you do on the side. So I allowed her to talk to some people that I know to see if they could help her develop something uh, for her future to decide what she wanted to do in the future but via going to college. So I let her talk to somebody else. She said, mm -mm, I don't want to be an attorney. So it hit me. I said, let, her, let me let her talk to Dr. Thompson. Dr. Thompson is my sensey sister. Like, let me let her talk to her. So Dr. Thompson spent two hours in the car. Well, my daughter was in the car. Dr. Thompson, I think, was in her car. They spent two hours on the phone talking about dentistry to my daughter. And at the time, she was only 17 years old. So this relationship, it, it, it set my daughter for success. It hit my daughter, and, and I guess she decided, let, let me go ahead and pursue dentistry. So she enrolled in college. She just graduated. She graduated the top of her class. She graduated a semester early. She graduated summa cum laude. She graduated with highly distinguished honors in the honors college. And this came about because of Dr. Thompson. And my daughter has already received that phone call, December 1st, to be accepted into the school of dentistry, the first school of her choice. But this happened, guys, because of the sensory relationship. Had it not been for this sensory relationship, I wouldn't have met Dr. Thompson. Had it not been for the sensory relationship, I wouldn't have joined Sensi because my sponsor's a friend of mine that introduced Sensi to me. Had it not been for the Angies who created this group and invited us over there. I want to know how to lead this group. Had it not been for Teresa and her skills and all the things that she knows, there are a lot of things I wouldn't be able to do to help guide and lead you guys. So in the midst of all this, mama get really sick. Mama has been in the hospital in critical care now for six weeks. So now I have come to a point where I worked on a job for almost 40 years, guys. And I had to take a break from that. And when you take a break from a job, that means you got to figure out how you're going to supplement that income because it just came suddenly. We never know when things just come suddenly. So when my mom is over there fighting for her life, I had to make the commitment to cut that off while, until she gets better. But in the meantime, I got my sensi business. I'm okay. I got my sensi business. Once you build a, 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 a team and you build a business, you're creating something. So I'm so grateful because through all that I've been going through, I don't have to worry about my business because I got the best team members. I got some awesome leaders and I have awesome support from my customers and my friends and family who support me on social media and outside of social media. So once you build this up, this is everything guys. This is a total blessing. It's all about the teamwork. So yes, I lose that customer. Because you don't know what you're going to get from that. Look at me. What if my sponsor hadn't asked me to join Cincy? And I'm over there telling her no. What if she had not asked me? Here I am 12 years later. And this business is a blessing. My daughter has done something nobody in my family has done. My daddy went to college, but he didn't finish college. My mom didn't finish high school. I went to three colleges, but I didn't finish. My brother didn't finish high school. He's autistic. 
My sister went to college, but she didn't finish college. My brother did not finish high school, my other brother. My oldest brother didn't go to college. My son went to college for two years. He got his associate's degree. My daughter is the first one of us to finish college and not only finish college, but finish at the top level. And you know why? I'm going to tell you guys why. I didn't, I didn't, she didn't work because I got the sensei business. I didn't want her to work. She helped me in this business and she could do it when she wanted to. It kept that stress off of her. She didn't have to go to the restaurant and clock in. She didn't have to go to the department stores and clock in. Thank God for the sensei business. It freed her up to do the things that were most important. That was study and study. That's what she did. She was able to study. She was flexible with Cincy. What a blessing. What a legacy we are creating for our family. So guys, never fear asking somebody about joining this, this opportunity because look at the blessings that come out of this. And you know, we got a lot of reasons why we shouldn't do certain things. Sickness kick in, death kick in. You may just don't feel good at all, but guess what guys? We got to get past that because we do know that that's going to happen. We don't know when, but it's going to happen. I've been faced with it all. My sister passed when she was 33. My son was almost to the point of death when he was age 33. My, my brother had a stroke. He's autistic. I take care of all of them. Mama had a stroke last year. Now she's gravely ill. And I still have to work my business. Because guess what, guys? Since I had to take away from my other job to spend the time with her, Sensi is flexible. When I go, when I go to the hospital, I take my Sensi business with me. I don't have to worry about missing a beat over that guy. So never second guess what Sensi has in store for you. Just know that it's a blessing, it's not a burden. And I just wanted to come here, guys, to tell you all the little things. There's so many things I've missed. But I want to tell you the most important things as to why I joined Sensi and why I love it so much and why it's benefiting me. So now the next phase of my daughter's career is she's about to go to dental school. And I failed to mention that I bought her a brand new car. She has no car payment. She has no bills because I take care of her through my Sensi. Income disclosure statement will go below. But guys, think of it that way. Think of it this way. This is your family business. It's your family legacy. So the next time you think about Oh, I'm not going to ask that person to join. Oh, I don't know if I want to go live. Or I don't know if I want to reach out to that person. Guys, think about the lives you're going to touch. Think about those lives you'll bless. And I can sit back and I look at so many of you guys. And I see you guys how you have, how, how Cincy has changed your life in so many ways. So guys, we're family. So what we do, we uplift one another when somebody's down. Isn't that amazing? Because even when I've been... Six weeks, mom in the hospital. I haven't been present like I used to, but you know I'm here and I'm going to show up whenever I, I can. But that's the great thing about Sensi. It creates this for us so we can work it when we can. But whatever you do, don't stop working it because this is how you're going to manage your, your finances. This is how you're going to take care of your family. My daughter has stepped out of college, guys, with no loans. She has no loans. I pay her tuition with my Sensi pay. She also received a Sensi scholarship. My nephew, because he's a dependent, he also received a Sensi scholarship. Look at all the blessings that Sensi has in store. Then, because I've earned a trip, I plan on taking my daughter on the incentive trip as a graduation gift. We celebrated her birthday when she turned 16 in Disney. It was an all expense paid trip from Sensi. So look at all the blessings, guys. There are so many that I've missed out, but I just wanted to point those things out to you guys because when you feel a certain kind of way, guys, just know that your business is a blessing. Love you guys. Love all of you. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.